<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make one of Jamie's things that he's been wanting me to make for a while. For, and then we've seen the episode of Donner's Drive-Ins and Dives, Captain Crunch French Toast. So, what you'll need is, let me push you back a little bit, some Captain Crunch, smashed up, blended up, whatever you want to. I use my little Power Chef. Some are fine and some are have a little bit of chunky pieces. And that's what you want. Some is real fine and some is chunky. Okay. Now in this one we got our beaten eggs. Um, cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg, and milk. And then this plate is when after I get them done, I'm going to stack them up here. Then you need some bread and i chose a loaf of bread from the bakery and it was called buttery white bread loaf and i just sliced it in some um thick slices you could do the regular sandwich bread that comes in a bag you can get some french bread or italian bread whatever you want to do um so you know how to do French toast. We got a skillet heating up with a little bit of butter. Because that's what we're going to fry it in. Now I can turn my skillet up a little bit more since I'm getting ready to go. So dip it in the... Dip it in your egg. Now don't worry about the recipe. I'm going to put down in the below the recipe. I mean... The recipe down below the video in the description. Just dunk it two, two or three seconds. Then down in your your Captain Crunch. And then you're going to have to pat it on both sides and let it adhere. Pat it in there. Um, you want your egg and milk. That's what helps adhere your little crushed cereal okay and then we're going to bring it up i'm going to shake off the little bit of excess of the cereal and then we're going to put it down in the skillet and i think i can get two pieces down in there so let me do it again don't soak it too long in the milk stuff because it can make it fall apart your bread um there's a lot of donners where he was at that was really famous for and jamie's been wanting to try this recipe for a long time and this is, this is the regular standard captain crunch of course if you wanted to use the one that had berries then do whatever you want to I think even the peanut butter one would be awesome. So let me wash my hands. And you don't have to use the name brand. You can use the off brand too. And for some of you that's overseas, you probably don't know what Captain Crunchy is. I don't know if you get it in your area. It comes like that. And it's sweetened corn and oat cereal. Sweetened corn and oat cereal. So just find you a sweetened corn and oat cereal. Okay, we're just going to make uh, cook these till they're golden brown on both sides. And then also cooks the milk egg custard too that we dipped them in. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that whole little loaf that I got the, got at the bakery. Out about one to three minutes on each side. It just depends on how thick you slice your bread, okay?
Now, I didn't put any sugar in my egg and milk mixture because the cereal is sweet. And then some people put syrup on top of it. So, I've, I've omitted that. But I'll put it down in the description. I'll put optional. I'm kind of smushing them down, too. The little cereal pieces, too. You don't want to flatten your bread, but I'm just kind of smushing them down a little bit. Okay, let me look at that side. Just uh, about 30 more seconds and then we'll flip and get the other side golden brown. And your cereal will get a little bit toasty. I'll show you what I mean when I get it. When I get it all golden brown, and I'll show you a good pick of it. See how toasty you want it to get? And you're just actually toasting your... Um, cereal but you're cooking your little egg mixture that you dipped it in because you want to cook your egg mixture a little bit I hear me that's how french toast works i think these would be good if you don't can't get captain crunch i think a special k would work um frosted flakes would work whatever kind of kind of cereal you think want to peek at this side. Just a little bit more. About 10 minutes, 10 seconds, I mean. Okay, that piece is done. Get that piece where it fell off of it to out the skillet. Okay. So that's how golden brown you want to get it. Okay. If you have cereal crumblings, dump them out. Because you're going to keep frying and you don't want them little bits of pieces to burn so we're just going to put another pat of butter in and start frying the rest of our french toast you want your skill on like a medium heat too and then we'll keep ducking here bread, dunked in the milk. Make sure you dunk it on both sides and flip it over. Remember, don't leave it in the milk. I like to shake the excess off and then it goes in your cereal. And then I just kind of bring over and kind of pat it in. Skillet. Let me get me another piece. And tra traditionally, um, French toast has cinnamon in it, but I put we put cinnamon and nutmeg.
spice mixture. That's our spice mixture and the French toast. So if you don't like either one of them, then leave it out. You just want to make sure you get some adhered to on both sides. That goes a skillet. About one to three minutes on each side. It just depends on how thick you do it. Get your bread sliced. Remember, I'm just mashing a little bit of the cereal down into the bread. I don't want to mash hard and squish my bread to a flat pancake. Just want to peek at it. You just want to make sure they're golden brown. I'll show you two more and then I'll show you how I'm going to top mine with. It depends on how much you're doing. I've only, I only blitzed up a half a box of the cereal. to press it in. Don't press too hard because you don't want to squish your bread. Okay, there's that one. And I got this one. Just do some kind of cereal lock if you can't get Captain Crunch or you're not really a big fan of Captain Crunch. I shake off some of the excess a little bit too. Okay. Got them in there.
just a tad bit of syrup, not very much, because the cereal is super sweet. So, just a little bit. And look, don't that look good? Of course, tons of blueberries on top. That's it for this episode of Simply Sarah. See you at the next time. Let me cut you a piece, too, so you can see the inside. Don't that look good? Stab me a blueberry or two with that bite. Mm-mm-mm. And remember that it's already real sweet because of the cereal. So it's your choice whether you want to put syrup on top. All right. See you at the next episode of Simply Sarah. Bye, everybody.